I'm going to show you how to load and run R. Part of this course in which you'll be using running R in an HPC environment taught by these HPC centers and I'll focus on UpMax here where we'll be using the RACAM HPC cluster. The session is about to find a software module to be able to run R. We're going to load that module. When R is loaded we're going to run its interpreter. We're going to run some an R command to get a list of installed R packages and we're going to run an R script from the command line. Um, this is how that module is structured. You see the, the numbers are the exercise numbers. So first we're going to find an R module using module spider. Um, exercise 2 we're going to load an R module using module load. In 3 we're going to use it uh, the R interpreter by starting it, by stopping it, by loading a library um, and we're going to run an R script too using R script. So how to find an R module is discussed on each of the clusters centers and there are some differences. Um, but for UpMax we're going to use module spider R. This actually works exactly the same for all centers. Type module spider R and then you will find output similar like this where you can see all the possible R versions. If you want to know how to load an R module of a specific version then actually it's already in the output it says you should for a specific version you do module spider r slash and then the version you're interested in in this case this version um, yeah so that's discussed here great that looks a bit more like this and then in this case it says this module can be loaded directly which gives you a clear hint that it can be loaded directly so when we found an R module we need to load it and that's that's you do module load R and then the version for example module load space R slash 4.1.1 where 4.1.1 is the R version and if you care about reproducibility it's a good idea to use specific versions now we theoretically have loaded uh, an R module and we can use R, it's time to use the R interpreter. R is an interpreted language, um, so the thing where you type in that is called the R interpreter. Um, we're going to start it, we're going to do something trivial, we're going to see the list of installed R package, we're going to load an R package, we're going to import it or use it, and we're going to quit the interpreter. So to start it, you basically you, on, you type capital R on the command line and then it will start it looks like this um, and then you can start typing this is the prompt uh, and there you can type your things so now we're going to do a trivial so if we have started the interpreter then it's time to do trivial R things and the reason we only do lightweight things is that because we are on a login node so after logging in you're on a login node and that 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 remote computer remotely accessed computer is shared with many users so we should not do heavy stuff else others are affected if we need to do heavy calculations we can either submit the calculations a batch job and uh, which will late do in a later session or for upmax we're going to use an interactive session and that's also discussed later in this course so after having loaded the R interpreter, we're, and, and we did that on a login node, so we only do light things, then typing this command, this R command, it will give you the output. Uh, hello world. To find out which R packages are installed, we use installed.packages, round braces open, round braces close. And that gives you the list of everything that's installed on your computer. If you want to load an R package that's installed, for example ggplot2, you do library and between round braces the name of the R package. And with quit, you quit. It will give you a question. If you want to save your variables, you just type no until you know what's actually meant by this. All right, so we've loaded the module. We've started R, but we can also run R from script. We can run an R script using 
tool using the program called rscript. Um, I'm going to do that. Um, and you do that actually like this. On the terminal you, you type rscript and then the name of the script. For example, if the script is called hello.r, you type rscript space hello.r. Again, we're on the login node, so we only do lightweight things. Alright, so let's take a look at the exercise. Exercise 1, find an R module. Exercise 2, load an R module. Exercise 3, use the R interpreter. Exercise 4, run an R script. Exercise 5, download and extract the tarball with exercises. Um, this is an extra one, I'll also discuss it. So these exercises completely follow what I have just been talking about. Um, now I'll be showing this for Upmax. So I'm gonna log in, I'll be using uh, the terminal ssh reshell at rackham.upmax.uu.se So I'll be using the terminal, but if you use a remote desktop, that's just as fine. Exercise 1. Use the module system to find which versions of R are provided. Well, I know that's module, spider, R, lowercase R, uppercase R. That works fine, uh, but there are a lot of things that will pop up. So maybe we're going to try with capital R. Let's see if it then pops up first. Yes, it pops up first then. And here we see... Uh, which versions we have, like with space and page up and page down, you can scroll a bit. So the latest R version, uh, these are the R versions that are available on Rackham on the login node. Done. Let's see if the answer is correct. Yes, the answer is correct. Now we're going to load an R module and for Upmax we're going to load 4.1.1. Sure. So 4.1.1 sure. So that's what we're going to load. R4.1.1. This is how to get some help about this module. So just type it here for completeness. This module can be loaded directly and you load it like this. There. So there and there I have loaded R of version 4.1.1. And the answer says exactly the same as expected. All right, we'll be using the R interpreter now. Um, so we're going to start it. Let's do it. That's capital R. And there we are in the in the interpreter. Here you see at the start, this is like the R version indeed. Cool. It's named Kick Things, this version. And there's some error here. Um, I can safely ignore that. But I'm here. I'm here in the R interpreter. Now I'm going to check which packages are, so double check the answer, uh, yeah. So to do that you use installed packages, I'm just going to copy paste it. And here I see which R versions, uh, I ha which R packages are installed. So there, there are a lot, um, and because of my big font it's not as nice to see, but you can see uh, what I have around. So let's see if we can find ggplot2 here, if it's installed, yes or no. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see if it's installed the other way. Ah, we're gonna load the parallel package by just doing library and parallel. Sure. Let's take a look if we can find parallel though. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Then it's simply library para parallel. There. Um, it doesn't give a response, but now the thing is loaded. Also, some people prefer to load it like this. That's exactly the same in uh, in happening. Done. We've loaded our R package. Uh, we need to quit the interpreter now. Now we're going to run an R script. Uh, to quit the interpreter, you can type quit like this. Or you can type Ctrl D. I like to do quit. I do an N to quit and there I'm out of it. So now we're going to run an R script. So we've loaded the modules. We started R, the R interpreter. We've worked a bit in it. And now we're going to start an R script. Well, we're going to download it like this. Um, so copy paste it there and wget means download and here is a file and now I have downloaded the file called hello.r. I can show the file, there's a command you can use for example cat and it shows me what is in this file. So it's not a very exciting 
script we've just downloaded, but we can at least check if it runs. So we're going to use our script, hello, and now we have run our very complex script. So we've done that, let's double check if the answer is correct. Yes, this looks exactly the same. Now, there is another exercise here to download and extract the tarball with exercises. So in this course, um, there will be more exercises like this uh, that we provide as teachers a script. So here we use wget uh, to get this script, but you can get all them at the same time as described here. I've put this in an earlier video, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to move on to the key points. Is that we need, on an HPC performance cluster, we need to first find a module to run R. We need, we've loaded a module to run R. We've used explicit versions of our models, modules, so we used R version 4.1.1. We started the R interpreter. We've run R scripts using R script. Um, Problems that we'll solve later in this course is that we can only do lightweight things because we are on a login node. We can only use the R packages installed with the R module. We didn't load a module yet to get more R packages for us. And we do not work in an isolated environment. So this means that um, maybe when we install a package uh, code, breaks that we used in a different po project that assumes different versions of the packages we have installed. Like all packages we install are for the whole system. With that I conclude this lesson on loading and running R in an HPC environment uh, and in this case UpMax. I wish you a very good day. Bye!